So we began um, and continue to organize under the same principles and practices and beliefs that unions have. Number one, lasting change comes from the bottom up. Two, self-determination. We were tired of intermediaries speaking for us, tired of being used as political footballs. Number three, a rising tide lifts all boats. Four, taking wages out of competition. That's why Worker Center have their own minimum wage standards. And this is exactly what persuaded unions to, to help us. Uh, in fact, our AFL-CIO partnership agreement was born out of, out of a complex crisis where some building trade unions specifically wanted to ban day labor centers while others were supporting us. And based on this crisis, we were able to turn the tide. In the late 90s, for, for instance, a group of day laborers were es escorted out of the AFL-CIO convention in Los Angeles. Half a decade later, uh, AFL-CIO president, former president John Sweeney, may he rest in peace, was welcoming day laborers and other low-wage workers to the main stage. Ironically, as I think bad, back, many in, in foundations and in academia were writing about how the labor movement was dying and declining and how worker centers were the new hot thing in town. And unions need to learn from worker centers, it was often said. Many years later, as I reflect back, I think that uh, the warnings about the decline of labor were accurate, no doubt, but unions don't necessarily need to emulate worker centers. I think it's the other way around. Worker centers need to emulate unions more. 